Okay, in the spotlight today we have a fuel injection pump. This one is a Bosch VE type. It fits the 200 and 300 TDIs for the Land Rover, obviously. All right, what I'd like to bring your attention to, actually, this first of all is a 300 TDI one. You can tell by the throttle position sensor. This is to aid the uh, EGR. Tells you where your throttle position is. It's irrelevant to what we're going to talk about. If I bring it around here, it's a wonderful little thing here. The fuel stop solenoid. This is your fuel cutout. Positioned where your fuel pump is on your offside of your engine. All right, here you go. I'm showing you with my screwdriver exactly where it is. Right, what the fuel cutoff actually consists of, it is an electrically operated magnetic solenoid, okay? When you uh, put your ignition on, what should happen is this plunger gets pulled inwards and then allows the fuel to travel further down the pump, okay? Right, you see by this demonstration here, I'm putting an electrical current to it what I'm touching to on the body is actually the earth positive is connected this fails in the shut position and this is due to a little spring in here bring it up close to the camera so you can see okay keep that in mind if you have to change it you don't want to be losing that right otherwise you might just get idle and you can also see by this it's actually quite warm that's an old one looks like that one isn't going to start okay what I'm showing you here today is this stop solenoid with a single wire to it. You've got to be mindful that on later engines they actually have a tamper proof stop solenoid. It's quite easy to steal a diesel by energising this and then just hot wiring the starter motor. All right. In uh, later editions you, what you'll find is there are three wires and it's covered. That's called a tamper proof one. We're not going to cover that today, it's a different issue. Now for testing First the thing you want to realise is that if you have no current here, then the stop solenoid is not going to open. This could be one of a few factors. If you have an immobiliser, like on a Discovery 1, that might well be at fault, not giving power down to your stop solenoid. It also could be a fuse. It could be your glow plug relay on some 200s and 300 TDIs that they run through the timed relay for the heater plugs. Now, what you can use is a test lamp first of all to check that you have a circuit there. As you can see here, light comes up, yeah, there's power there. The second thing you can do is do the click test. You put, pull it on and off the connector, you can hear it clicking. Alright, the solenoid's active. There you go, at least you know that's alright. You don't need to go any further. However, if it doesn't click, then you'll have to draw it out and replace it. Before you attempt to remove this, make sure that the area is scrupulously clean. You don't want to get any dirt dropping in to the pump. I usually use something like brake cleaner and then blow it with some air, um, whatever you need to. Just if it's got loads of dirt around it, grit, don't do it, clean it first. The other thing I'll say, if you notice there's actually rust inside, you're going to have problems because the pump's got moisture in it or water and that will kill the pump sooner or later. Okay, finally, removal this uh, stop solenoid you have a couple of options you can either remove this 
bracket here which is held on by three bolts in this case this has got one <coughs> allen key screw and two torque screws uh, accelerate cable off take the bracket out and you've obviously got to undo the m8 bolts here which bolt this onto the bracket on the engine or <coughs> like i've done use a 24 mil spanner and struggle a little bit because you can't get the swing in here it is a bit of a pain um, cracked it off slightly and then managed to use a pair of mole grips to turn it round it says butchering a spanner once you've uh, got it off be aware that you've got to take the tab off because they come like this okay and there is an o-ring make sure that goes back in properly okay that is the seal stopping diesel coming out and leaking past the valve here okay now dropping it in you can see I'm holding the plunger and slipping it into place you nip it up and the jobs are good and 